Hello, greetings. This is Gilles Mercier. I wanted to come and say hello. Wish you a wonderful day for we are in the middle of an eclipse. When things are eclipsed, it is all in the flux. So it is very difficult for the uh, I am presence, is or inner guidance is never confused. It always keeps the north no matter what the astral configuration. For eclipse are the most powerful transit they are, for they, they will affect us strongly in the past next couple of days, but they can last, the effect can last up to six months. And right now we're between a solar eclipse that is full, that is now which on the 16th there will be a lunar eclipse and then we'll move into the galactic uh, new year on the July 26th and the lion's gate on the, on the 8th of August. And so um, I'm going to pull a few cards. I hope you, you... So the eclipse is a good time to concentrate, to focus on what we need to let go of and, and to prepare ourselves for the new. For, uh, I'm going to pull a few cards to see. I'm going to, I'm going to have to change a little bit the model of those videos for because of a financial reason. I had to reduce my uh, my, my internet access and so for like a month. And so I'm going to make uh, either less video or shorter videos just to, to keep the communication, the line of communications open. For I hope this is very temporary. I will be able to, to return to normal life really soon. For the, the past is acceptance. We have to, uh, the, the present is action and the future is destiny. So, so, so there is a, um, it's about action. We have to move into action as much as we can, whatever. So the idea is to, to, to never, to, to watch, to transform. There is one thing we need to transform. This is this idea that in our mind or our words said, I cannot do. And transform it by how can I do? So because we, so very often we feel like because of certain mental limitation or physical or material or social or financial, we said we cannot do this because whatever. But but this, there is always a mean, always a way. The wisdom is finding the way towards things, and so. The great master of wisdom taught, teaches us that God has three powers that he exercised all the time, which is infinite love, which is as the knowledge of all things. Infinite wisdom is now all the means by which to attain any things. And infinite power, which is the combination of infinite love and infinite wisdom. And so we want to find this wisdom, ask us ourselves, how can I, rather than what I cannot. So, but, but uh, so it is a time of action, whatever we are called to do, it's good to do it. And uh, the destiny will unfold before us. From what we're working on is, uh, is the solution. We're, we're looking, uh, we're no longer looking at the old problems. We're looking at the solution and we'll find this solution. And, and the outcome will be cheminement, which is the assess, ascension. It is a, it is a step by step process. We're climbing a ladder, the ladder of consciousness. My spirit yesterday was telling me that we'll return to this infinite space, infinite state of being. It is completely inconceivable in my precious present day consciousness, but I know it is coming for spirit, God, uh, um, when you, it knows all things. It knows when you're born, it'll know exactly what you're going to do with your all your life. It already sees all that. And so sometimes it, it can reveal certain things about the future because it knows, it knows. But we do not know. So uh, in, in during the time of eclipse, we have to be careful because the mental body is always very active. It speculates, it tries to resonate, it re but it does not really know. It's only the God self that reveals itself, the, or our soul spirit, uh, or our guides that can reveal to us certain aspect of things that puts things in perspective. And then we understand the, the meaning of life. For, for it, is, it is the connection through the heart, through the love of the heart and the, the, this consciousness of, the, of spirituality that, we, that life reveals itself so um, so in, in a, there is only one universal truth but this universal truth is revealed as personal truth collective truth or universal for a long time I, I put the, 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 the ascension of the planet the ascension of energies that are, are were outside of me that are beyond me as a priority because I felt that it was my duty here to let go of all personal ideas in order to serve the collective for that was my mission I've always been very clear about that but now I realize I have to take care of my own self my own ascension for it is only one truth but uh, we cannot deny ourselves for the planetary ascension and perso perso planetary freedom and personal freedom are very important but we have to achieve personal freedom and everything will follow and so uh, and the collective truth is the truth that connects all the souls in, in, in the realm of relationship 
And so uh, for understanding that reality has been created and recreated in each moment of now, all the past can be transformed in one, one moment of time for the future as well. And the present change for the, but, um, but as we, we move into this higher for this, this ascension process, we become submissive to the, the, the plans of our soul and we allow ourselves to be guided. Our destiny is being protected and, and experienced step by step by step. Um, for we, I know that in this, this new phase that is coming, God will, I will let God make many decisions and, and a lot of things will be up to me as well, for it is a co-creative process. It was revealed that there was 144,000 ascended masters that incarnated since the beginning of, um, at the end of Atlantis, the golden age of Atlantis, in order to serve the planet and would incarnate over and over and over again to serve the light and the planet. And those... Um, and those beings have, have, um, have, have been, um, the, the earth knows who they are, they knows the, the, the earth knows everything, and, but soon they will be recognized by humanity, the credit and appreciation will be given, uh, we will connect to the ascension code 0010110, and a very powerful ascension code, and the rewards will be proportional to the, to the service that was given. But there will be an introduction to humanity, for there are celestial immortals and, and earthly immortals, the celestial immortals we know, Buddha, the Christ, uh, Saint Germain, uh, Serapis Bay, uh, Kutumi, uh, Al Moria, all those beings that have completely ascended their form into the higher realm and they work through various channels. But then there are, there are the, which is the, like the Buddha. But then there is also the aspect that is the Bodhisattva. We all have, the, all those beings have forms that is us, that is incarnated in physical form in order to continue the service on the, on the physical planes. And so the, the, there is a path of incarnation. Every time we incarnate as, as, a, as, a, as an ascended master that came to serve the earth, as a Bodhisattva that needs to continue this service, um, needs to, every, every incarnation needs to bring something new to society, it needs to increase the level. So all those incarnations are very, um, they were very important. Now it is the incarnation, very important, uh, that is very important, it is our present. There is nothing more important than, than our own present, here and now, incarnation, time, space as well as letting go and being able to float outside of things to connect to our higher self for there will be coming a judgment day life will be censured once and for all and then everything will be changed there's been two judgments before in the past like um, the flood and so on uh, but um, in the past but um, we're moving towards the last judgment and this world will change forever at some point for we do not want to be in a hurry for this judgment day for if you're ready, then you're ready and just enjoy the time in between. But, but we, uh, we need to qualify as many human beings as possible to pass through the, the, pass through the, the, the grid. And so, uh, but the, those, so we want to be, we want to be as fair and forgiving as possible. We want to treat everybody evenly, understanding that those who continue to cultivate the the, the, the suffering and the tyranny will have nowhere to hide and nowhere to run. They're gonna have. It's not a matter. They just uh, we want to we want to be kind and understanding and forgiving. But they will have to face the the, the result, the product of their own creation at the time of judgment. For in. in for there is nothing to, to fear, the, the, the cause is the effect, the effect is the cause. So for, for God, it is the same thing. For God, experience past, present and future already. For it is us that are, there is a great deal of, um, in this eclipse time, there is a lot that is, uh, that is eclipsed from our consciousness. For we want, this eclipse will bring the understanding of a new beginning. It will, um, it will let us know what action that needs to be taken. It will increase our lucidity, our compassion, our courage. But it will happen um, over the next few days. Um, for understanding that we don't need to, we are not here to please everyone. If our peace depending on pleasing other people, uh, we're we surrendering our power, we're losing our power in that process. So we do not want to put our, put our own power in the faith and, and of others or circumstances. We want to return to this inner point of power at the center. Uh, we want to also be honoring other people and other culture and other belief in order to create this expansion, no matter what. The, 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 it is the diversity that makes this earth so rich. And so do not believe there is only one way and it's like my way or the highway. Everybody is part of the way. Everybody is part of the spiritual connection. All the, all the beliefs of all the beings and all their lives and, and lifestyle. It is the great diversity on the earth and the cultural level and understanding that every country has to evolve and grow and will evolve and grow in according to God's will. Um, 
Also finding joy in every moment, finding joy in little things. For instance, if we're cooking and we're thinking about problem, the food will not be as good as if we're concentrating on preparing great food. For the quality of the food that we bring that we bring into the kitchen is one thing, but the, the love and energy that we, that we, we use uh, when it's prepared, it's why the, the, big, the major restaurants, the good restaurants are... The, great, the chefs are really in love with cooking. It's like the food is so much better because they put so much love in the preparation. So put, put love in the little things of your life. Your only purpose in life is to be you, to enjoy your life, not about being enlightened or more enlightened than anybody else or more perfect than anybody else. It is about you being you and expressing unconditional love. That is your true nature. Uh, the galactic will come to assist and they, they, they stand descending energy but they, they themselves are also facing certain challenges in relationship to their own ascension for the whole universe is ascending we're moving from third and fourth dimension to fifth dimension but those in fifth dimension are moving into six those in six are moving into seven and every time there is new challenges because we have to reconsider all kinds of uh, of, uh, of, of of reality when we, we are ascending with new truths new new level of, of the, the law does not apply in, in each dimensions are very different i feel like i've been like don't uh, the, the Dante Alighieri, the great poet of the 14th century, I passed through the gates, the circles of hell, and now I'm finding the purgatory, looking at paradise. And I had this guide called Virgil, who was also the guide of Dante, that came to see me the other day. So uh, I'm looking forward to this return to paradise. For um, in a sense, we want to become master of our ship, master of, of, our, of our vehicle, and to to, um, to 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 know how to uh, to drive our car, to drive and, and to make regular stop for maintenance, to to change the fuel we are using, to connect to the great central sun, to be always uh, in alignment, to use the sacred fire to 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 um, to ignite the sacred fire within ourselves. Also, wanted to say that the, the, in this world, we everything is limited and physical. For for uh, there is only one being that has no limit. It's been said that it, it is God. We call the universal Father. Is only limited by volition. It means that if there is limit in life, it's because God wants those limits to be like that. And so, but everybody else has limitation that we operate within and in this physical world. Everything is that there is limitation everywhere. But in the in the higher realm, in the world of energy, in the higher planes, there is. It's not as quantifiable for everything is one and fluid and things adapt and change very quickly in relationship to um to, to the necessity of the moment. Also, when I say that our higher self has a higher self, which has a higher self, which has a higher self, our inner self has a inner self, that has a inner self, that has a inner self. So, so it is, it is, uh, there is a great deal of, of discovery, but we're connecting more and more to the, to this uh, appreciation. So, um, so I wanted to say that uh, we, we live in a world that is part of a process of evolution. But, but um, God, uh, what we call God, uh, the I am presence, the I am, the great I am, not the I am presence, but the great I am, the Father, Son, and Spirit, the, 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 the three first source and centers, created paradise and all the citizens of paradise, which has an infinite number of them for paradise is much greater and bigger than anything we can ever phantom or believe more rich than anything we can ever suspect even and, and then uh, in the flash of creation the infinite spirit took the patterns of paradise and created this central universe called avona with one billion perfect world a huge world with countless inhabitants but they're perfect beings they're, they're not evolutionary beings and so um and so they're, uh, they're, um, they were created ultimate. It's an ultimate universe that serves as a buffer between absolute paradise and, and the time and space reality, which were created afterwards. But when God created this outer reality, he didn't come as himself to create those reality. For God is like, he's created the central universe. He's created beings, divine beings with creatorship, with, with, with prerogative of creation, creatorship, that is the, the known as the creator son and, and the, the creative spirit, the father, mother, God, divine beings that, uh, that are fully endued, imbued, they are, they, they are created um, equal to God in the sense that they, they, they were sent into time and space to evolve their own universe. In the, and so 
So, so that is why we need to evolve to follow the plans of our Father, Mother, God, and to because they've created the, all the celestial intelligence of our local universe. But then, in the celestial intelligence, some beings have created other beings, and then created other beings, and then created other beings. So, so there is a decrease in divinity each and every time. But yet, we have this I am presence that is the presence of the first source that that can bridge all dimension and all things. And so, it's got incredible wisdom. We want to trust that 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 love that 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 um, that wisdom them of our inner self of our higher self of our god self and uh, understanding we also we our, our own local universe is at the end of a great spiral the first universe were created with a full spectrum of light but as, as we move towards the spiral there is less and less and less and less light that so the challenges are getting bigger and bigger and there will be further uni local universe that will be created that we may participate in later on that that will be the end of the process for we're almost at the end of the, the, the origination of time and space and then when then we'll have to evolve all of time and space or so seven trillion seven trillion inhabited world will have fused within the light then then um then the grand universe will refuse in light and life, so it will take trillions of years, but, but it's very short in eternity. Then, then something new will happen and other universes, transcendental universe will be inaugurated. Only the God knows, they don't reveal much about the future beyond time and space. But as a personal, we can, as a personal, as a, as a, through our connection with I am presence, we can already discover some aspect of the, of the transcendental aspect of reality looking towards the ultimate for the time and space reality is connected to the supreme and so um, so this is so so we are part of this evolutionary creation i wanted very quickly to make this uh, a little it, it's it's an initiation that was given a meditation you don't do this if you're driving it's obvious but um, it's an initiation that was, you can use this technique it was given by a beloved goddess from the pleiades to to um, to return to the time of Atlantis and co connect to the the, the sorority, the, the 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 woman energy, the, the divine frequency of, of the feminine. First, we need to take a few deep breaths and slow down our breaths. When you breathe, every time you breathe out, you feel your body being more relaxed and more relaxed with every out breath, and then you visualize yourself. A Merkaba within yourself. A Merkaba is two pyramids enclosed within another, and you activate it, and you see yourself enclosed within this Merkaba. It's like an etheric crystal, and your whole consciousness, your whole being is included within this Merkaba. You can use that at other time for other purposes, and, and then you connect to this light field, and you let yourself float away. You forget the time and space. You let yourself float away. You may you may close your eyes if you wish. And you, and you float into the atmosphere, for it is not a space travel experience, it is an interdimensional travel experience. You let yourself float away in the atmosphere, you look at this beautiful planet from the atmosphere, and you, you see the, this world of color, of light, and uh, you, you, you're riding waves of energy that emanate from the planet. And then you move into this interdimensional tunnel that will take you into this time travel, and inside this, this, this tunnel, you can see the, the, the time is being reversed. You pass through the civilization, you pass through the time, and then you return to the time of the Christ. You return to the, to the time of Atlantis, and then eventually you arrive at this time of Lemuria. You emerge at the, at the end of this tunnel, and you look at the planet. You see that the, the, the continents are completely different. There's so much more water at the time. And so, um, and so you, you, and then you descend on the planet, and, and you walk on the planet, and, and, and your energy form, and, and you, you look at everything is in the energy, in a different energy field. All the plants, all the flowers, all everything is completely different. The animals, and, and you're looking at the earth from this etheric. Everything is always in the flux. And then you move into the, the physical earth, you, you, you take on a physicality and you walk on the planet and you meet someone, you can appreciate the polychromatic light that is emanating from this person. And this person realized you're not from this timeline, and so so it's like there is a great ecstasy of, of of meeting that connection from this past, from this past time of Lemuria, and they see that they recognize that you're coming from the future, so so this creating this ecstatic connection. You can see their their clothes are completely flowing, their hair is flowing, they're wearing very special sacred crystals. It's a completely different. Um, 
and you connect to to, to this being and and so um and then you move you move towards together you move towards this great etheric crystal etheric temple that's made of crystals but it's very fluid and there is two columns and you pass through the column as you move closer you see that they, they turn into a solid form a marble form and you see this temple this crystal temple is made of marble and crystals and it's, it's on it there is many um, precious stones that on it and there is a it is surrounded by by water there is a little bridge that, that leads you to the gate on this water there are dolphins that are here and they greet you and so you move you move into the temple um, and uh, it's an etheric temple but it's got it's partially solid partially etheric and you pass through the gates and it is, it is this pleiadian temple um, and, um, and and then you move inside you, you for, for it is something that we want to develop connect to our inner temple for we all have inner temples but this is this is a weird, it's in a distant past but we see this inner temple and we look at at the center there is a dome and on the dome as we look up we see that there are all the constellations that are there and we can touch upon each constellation and get drawing information drawing love and light from all those civilizations that are part of the that are part of our universe and and we realize they are all alive and and so um and then then we we, we realize that there are benches or that around a series of benches that are arranged in the dome that are um, that are arranged in a circle we sit in one and then we, we there is an apparition of goddesses of beings feminine beings that are seated all around this uh, this circle and so we we, uh, we connect to those beings, we relax, we center, and we open ourselves to receive their telepathic message. For if it comes now, it, it is wonderful, for we, we are connected to, to them. But it may come later, as you already made that connection, so this will, uh, will come. Um, we realize that the past, the present, and future are all fused into one energy. There is no separation between the past, the present, and the future. And the message, the essence of the message is that we have to awaken the power of the feminine. We have to awaken, the, we, we, we need to awaken all women on the planet so they can be guided to men. For only the men that recognize the beauty and, and the sacred energy of women will be embraced within this energy field. And so it is uh, the sisterhood of men and women that they come, comes together for, for better understanding of each other. We have to recognize the difference between men and women and to bring, uh, to bring it into balance, to allow, um, the, the, to feel the difference between them, but letting go of all distortion that can still happen between men and women. For there is a, it is the understanding of sacred sexuality to allow love and acceptance to love and support each other for men have to learn to support women to, to be empowered so they can take out their role in leadership and so because men have, have had a lot of fear of, of the power of women that's why the society has been so dominant of a woman for the woman hold the key to the power understanding when you feel the presence of those goddesses they are not so much individual they are energy field and you can you can feel the energy for women have been very lonely since they have lost the, the connection to the sisterhood and so we want to reconnect that and so we feel that we thank the goddesses for all their love their blessings their energy and and we leave the temple we go into the garden that surrounds it and we can see that there are all kinds of magical beings. The fairies are visible at this time. The animal, the plants, everything is different. Everything is alive. Everything is connected. And so, so we feel the connection. We feel the connection we have to it. And we have to let go of the sadness because there is a sadness that comes to us as we observe, as we feel this energy field, because the, the, we realize that in our days and age, in our own time and space, nature is no longer as beautiful, as magical, as charming. So we want to bring back this energy of the magic so that all the magic kingdom will be able to feel its recognition and, and will feel that, that our own connection to nature so we want to bring, we want to keep that vision of uh, to, to all the elementals in our day and ages. So now, now we, we, we have 
integrated that vision, we return into our Merkaba and we let ourselves float back to the tunnel and, and, and then we, we pass through the time forward, we accelerate the time, we can see the civilization passing and passing and passing and then we, we emerge out of the tunnel in this precise time and space that we left it, we're still in the atmosphere and then we come down back to our physical body and then... Um, and, and, and then we, we realize that we, we want to melt our heart with all that is. We want to we want to be the embodiment of, of 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 the love that is that we bring back from this energy of Lemuria. For Lemuria, where they were the very advanced civilization that never had to deal with survival because they were not in so much physicality. So we want to thank the Lemurian Pleiadian goddesses to to stay with us to accompany us in this empowerment of all the divine feminine and, and the empowerment of all women on the planet. It. Well, I hope this message was interesting for you. Now we breathe and, and, and we wiggle our, our fingers and toes and we're back into our physical body in our time and space but with this new empowerment and use this Merkaba energy you can travel and you can open corridors in time and space to travel here and there. And so um, I'm going to pull one more card. It is uh, trust in yourself, the Archangel Metatron. Believe in yourself, trust your heart. Do what brings you joy. It's like it's the fool, it's the zero card, the freedom from fear. The paintings behind me is called the, the, the Blue Star Family of Light, the, the Blue Star Friends and Family, it's called. It's a beautiful painting. I made about two, I made another one that's very in the same spirit, but it's sold, it's a private collection in Paris. And this one is uh, it's called the, the House of the Matician. It's a very complex and sophisticated. In 2005, I did all kind of very powerful metaphysical painting. They will need to be shown together and explained a little bit. And I'm going to finish with a song. It's, it's a song that's about the eclipse. It's called the total eclipse of the heart. I thought it was a good time to sing that. It goes like this. Turn around, every now and then I get a little bit lonely and you never come around. Turn around, every now and then I, let her get, I get a little bit tired of listening to the sound of my tears. Turn around, every now and then I get a little bit nervous as the best of all years have gone by. Turn around, every now and then I get a little bit terrified when I see the look in your eyes. Turn around, bright eyes, every now and then I fall apart. And I need you now, tonight, and I need you more than ever. And if you only hold me tight, we'll be holding on forever. And we'd only be making it right. Cause we'll never be wrong, together we can take it to the end of the line Your love is like a shadow on me all the time I don't know what to do, I'm always in the dark We're living in a paddock, I can give out spark I really need you tonight Forever's gonna start tonight Forever's gonna start tonight once upon a time I was falling in love, but now I'm only falling apart. There's nothing I can do, a total eclipse of the heart. Once upon a time there was light in my life, but now there's only love in the dark. There's nothing I can say, a total eclipse of the heart. A total eclipse of the heart. Well, I thank you very much for sticking till the end, for we are moving towards the eclipse, for there is no way, no reason for us to, to for, for time has changed, for we moved forward and now we have to allow, the, the, to utilize the energy of the eclipse in between those two eclipses to, to really create the transformation, to get the strength, the power, the courage, the, the lucidity to, to act upon our will and to, and to assert ourselves, to become this, uh, this ascended master and then that, uh, that we truly are, this true light of God that we truly are. I hope this message was interesting for you. I wish you a wonderful day and I'll talk to you later. Thank you. Namaste.